Hey guys, welcome to SSCD Tech, Susil this side and this is continuation of Power BI tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about the slicers. So what is the slicer? So this is a very important topic in the Power BI because by using these we can filter the data for the visualizations. So go to on the Power BI desktop and we'll see in the practical. So this is our project by which we are currently working on. Let me add a new page so we can click on this plus symbol and here let me add few visualizations. So first I am going to use the column chart. So this is our column chart. Let me make it bigger and next I want to use a line chart so we can click on that. First unselect that and now let me click on column chart here put it on right side next I wanna use a table so we can use this table make it on right side now we can little bit adjust all these so little bit smaller I guess now it looks fine or we can set it on the top side like this and like that and we can make it bigger like that and this as well so we can set and make it bigger so here i am going to use these three visualizations first is a table second is a column chart and a line chart let me add the fields on this so first I am going to use the country name, second city name, next I am going to use the order date so we can drag and drop. So here you can see it is having the data in the hierarchy but I am going to use exact value. So we can click on that and here we can select the order date. So it will have date value. Now next I am going to use the order quantity so we can drag and drop and let's make it sum so it is already some now we can make it smaller like that next we can select this line chart and let me drag this country name on axis and order quantity on the value next select that column chart and country name in the axis and order quantity in the value now i am going to use a slicer so here you can see inside the visualizations this slicer is available so we can click on that so this is our slicer so first I wanna apply the filter for the country so we can drag and drop the country name on the field for the slicer so here you can see it is displaying data like that so these countries are available so we are having all these countries here in the right top you can see this down arrow so we can click on that as of now it's displaying as list we can make it as drop down so we can click on that and here it is converted in the drop down next if we wanna format this then we can go on the format and here you can see slicer header if we don't wanna see this so we can off this and here in the title we can add that so this is the country so we can call this as country and here little bit down this is our font color or, and this is our background color so let me change my background color with orange after that the font color that should be white so this is the white so that looks good so we can do the formatting as you want so this is our first slicer and here let me filter for us only so we can select united states so here you can see data is filtered for united state and here we don't have option to select all so we want to see that option as well so again select that slicer go to on the format and here go to on the top here you can see the selection control so in the selection control you can see select all so we can on that now you will be able to see select all options so we can click and we'll see all these values and next 
I wanna filter only data for these two visualizations, not for the tables. Like if we will select here for United States, then the data on the visualizations will be changed, not in the table. So how we can do that? That is also very important. So I have already discussed about the interactions. So we can select that slicer, go to on the format, and here you can see edit interactions. So here this is our table. So in the table we don't want to put the filter for this. So select the slicer and here in the top side you can see option for none. So we can click on none. So it will not be filtered anymore. Now you can check as we have selected United States. So here we are having data for all countries. Only these two bottom visualizations are filtering. Next, I want to add one more slicer so we can click on that and this is added. This time I want to use for date slicer. So here you can see the order quantity. Let me add this in the field. So this is our date slicer. So here it is going to use the between like it will get the data between these two dates. But if we want only the data after any date or before any date then we are also having that option here you can see on the right top click on that here you can see the before after list drop down relative date relative time so here let me add between as it already so here if we will use the before then we'll have only after date and if we'll have after then we'll have only start date and list so it will display the data in the list and if we'll select the drop down then we'll have this drop down so we are having all these options we can choose according to our requirement so this is our slider so we can slide this and the data for the slicer will be changed according to this slider so this is for the slicer so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.